Have you got a song idea in your head that you just need to get down and then you want to record it, you want to make it into a full song and then you want to release it? Well, that's what we're going to do. In this five part series, I'm going to take you right from idea to release. Hey guys, JP here from John Paul Music UK. If this is your first time here and you want to learn everything about music tech and looping, start now by hitting the subscribe button, hit that bell and you won't miss anything. Welcome to 2020. Happy New Year, first of all. I've got two New Year's resolutions. Number one, I want to get a song out by the end of January. And number two, I want to use my iPad as the main source for recording that song. So what we're going to do is, in a five-part series, this is part one, where we're going to look at the idea of the song. We're going to get that down and recorded. We're going to embellish that in part two. In part three, we're going to show you how to mix it and add effects. And then in part four, we're going to show you how we can master that song. And finally, in part five, we're going to distribute that song out. So by the end of January, my goal is to have a new song, a brand new song, out there in the real world on all the streaming sites so you'll be able to hear it. So equipment list, I'm going to be using a couple of different things. First of all, I'm going to be using the iPad. Then I'm going to be using an audio interface, which is the Scarlett 2i2. I'm going to be using a dongle to plug the audio interface in. And that dongle for me is the hyperdrive. I'm going to be using my headphones, which are my Sennheisers. I'm going to need a microphone, so my Shure SM58 for now, and then an XLR cable. Then I'm going to be using my guitar, which is a Yamaha APX600 with a jack-to-jack -jack lead. Now I'll also need a couple of extra things. So I'll need a mic stand. For recording vocals as well, I will also need a pop shield. Now I might use a condenser microphone and go up to that condenser microphone, but we'll see how we go with the SM58 and see if we can get away with recording this just with that microphone. If not, we will be using a condenser microphone as well. And of course, I'll be plugging everything into power to make sure we've got enough power running through the system. The only other two possibilities which are additional, we don't have to use them, is one, I've got my keyboard here. This is the Roland Juno DI, but I'll just use it as a MIDI controller and also my speakers. So my speakers are my KRK Rocket 5s. However, I am now gonna restrain from using them if I don't have to. And that's the equipment list. So the other part of the equipment list is actually using a couple of apps. So the first one we're gonna be using is Music Memos. Then we're gonna go into GarageBand, and then we're gonna be using a couple of extra things, including DistroKid to distribute the music. This series is sponsored by DistroKid. Upload unlimited songs, EPs, and albums to all the major online stores and streaming sites like Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, Pandora, Amazon, Google Play, Tidal, iHeartRadio, YouTube, Deezer, and over 150 more around the world, all for just $19.99 a year. And keep 100% of your royalties. Get 7% of your first year's membership with our special VIP link that's on the screen now, and it's also in the description box below. So this is episode one, this is the idea. Okay, so I've got this idea uh, for this song about sitting in a tree, um, and I'm gonna sing it to you right now. So, one, two, three, four, one. You and me, still sitting in this tree. It's looking kinda high from here. What do you see? Are you and me still sitting in this tree? And take my hand and hold me tight. Let's dance tonight. Bum, bum. <laughs> so that's the idea. So first thing I've got to do is I've got to figure out what chords it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually grab the guitar and then figure out roughly what the key is, because uh, I quite like singing in that key. Yeah. You and me, you and me, we're still sitting in this tree. A little bit low. You and me, yeah, that's cool. You and me, still sitting in this tree, looking kind of high from here. Do you see? You and me. Still sitting in this tree Take my hand and hold me tight News tonight Cool. So, it's a pretty basic structure. I think that's B. So G, C, D, 
G, capo on the fourth. So now I know that, that's good. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna record that into music memos with the guitar and just see if I'm right, Let's see if it comes, what it comes up with. Okay, so I've got my iPad here. Now, it doesn't matter which iPad it is. It's the app that's important. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into Music Memos. Uh, that should just launch. We're gonna make sure that that can hear me. That's good. And then we're gonna start recording it. You and me Still sitting in this tree Looking kind of high from here What do you see? You and me Still sitting in this tree Take my hand and hold me tight Dance tonight Cool Okay, so we've recorded that just basic idea and we've recorded it into Music Memos. Music Memos has picked up some chords, so it has said B there. That's quite good, I know that now, that's good. Um, and then I'm just gonna tap on it. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just play that back now and just have a listen. You and me, still sitting in this tree. Looking kind of high from here, what do you see? Okay, cool, so let's figure that out. So it says 77 beats per minute. Uh, let's have a listen if we add the drums in. Uh, let's go from there. You and me, still sitting in. Okay, so we just need to adjust this a little bit. Um, Let's have a quick look. Let's go back to 4-4. Four, four. I think I want it double the speed, if I'm honest. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, it's better. You and me Still sitting in this tree Looking kind of high from here What do you okay, see? Cool. You and me Sitting in this tree, take my hand and hold me tight. Dance tonight. All right, cool. So Music Members has done a pretty good job there and we've got the bass line there and we've got the drums and I'm gonna alter that a little bit later. But this is just to get it down, just to get the idea down. I'm gonna start embellishing on this and then I'm gonna record a full version. But the great thing about this is I can send it to GarageBand straight away if I wanted to, if it was a full song. But um, because of this, it's figured out 154 BPM, which I thought was really fast, but turns out that's what it is, that's fine. So it's double the speed in 4.4, that's great and also I've got the chords there which is useful for later so one other thing I want to do really quickly in music memos just to save this is I just want to go to notes I want to say that it's capoed on the fourth in standard tuning and then I'm gonna write the lyrics you, you, see? you and me still sitting in this tree take my hand and hold me tight dance tonight So that's the idea. I think we're gonna need a couple of verses to go with that chorus and maybe a middle eight as well. So over the next week, I'm gonna start making that into a song. And then in part two, I'm gonna show you how we record that into GarageBand and make it a full track. Remember, this is a five part series. If you found the content of this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help the channel grow. Please have a look at the special link at the bottom of the page now. That is from DistroKid, who is sponsoring this series to give you 7% off your first annual membership. Thank you, DistroKid, and to all of you who have subscribed to this channel already. And we'll see you in the next video which is part two.